In this example, we're told that Farmer Bob has a field that is 12 and a half acres. He wants to plant peanuts on three-fourths of the field. How many acres will he need to plant? Well, we need to find three-fourths of the 12 and a half. And whenever you hear the word of, you think times. Three-fourths of the 12 and a half acres. Three-fourths of 12 and a half means three-fourths times 12 and a half. So we need to multiply those two numbers together. So I'm going to write 12 and a half times 3 fourths. This will be easier to multiply if they're both fractions, so I'm going to convert the 12 and a half to a fraction. So I do 12 times 2 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So that's 25 halves. So I can rewrite this problem as 25 halves times 3 fourths and I multiply and I can do this in my head we multiply across the top 25 times 3 is 75 and then the denominators 2 times 4 is 8 so I have 75 eighths and 75 eighths is a little bit difficult to comprehend so I'll convert that back to an improper uh, back to a mixed number from an improper fraction and I do that by dividing 75 divided by 8 8 will go into 75 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72. And I subtract and I get 3. And 8 won't go into 3, so that's my remainder. 9 remainder 3, and what that means is 9 and 3 eighths. And this is in acres, so that's my answer. 9 and 3 eighths acres. A map has a scale of 1 inch equals 20 miles. That's obviously not true for every map, but in this particular problem we have a map where we're told that a map has a scale of 1 inch equals 20 miles. That means 1 inch on the map corresponds to 20 miles in the real world. Two towns on the map are 1 and 3 eighths inches apart. So how many miles apart in reality are the two towns? Well, 1 and 3 eighths inches and each of those inches corresponds to 20 miles. So in this case, I need to multiply 1 and 3 eighths times 20. So that's my problem. 1 and 3 eighths times 20. Well, let's rewrite this so both of these numbers are fractions. So I'll convert the 1 and 3 eighths to a mixed number. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So that's 11 eighths. And then the 20 can just be written as 20 over 1. So 1 and 3 eighths times 20 can be rewritten as 11 over 8 times 20 over 1. And now these are a little easier to multiply. I can multiply 11 times 20 for the numerator and 8 times 1 for the denominator, but it's going to be easier to reduce this first. Look at the 8 and the 20. Those can both be divided by 4. So if I divide the 8 by 4, the 8 will become a 2, and then I divide the 20 by 4 also, it becomes a 5. And now this is easier to multiply. 11 times 5 is 55, and then in the denominator, the 2 times 1 gives me 2. So I have 55 over 2, and that's going to be in miles. But 55 over 2 will be easier to understand if we write it as a mixed number. So let's divide 55 by 2. 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, we get 1. Bring down the 5. 2 goes into 15 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. We subtract and we get 1, so that's our remainder. And that remainder of 1 means 1 over 2. 2 or 1 half. So 27 and 1 half miles is my answer. On the map, the two towns are 1 and 3 eighths inches apart. That means that in the real world, they're 27 and a half miles apart.